In this video, I'm going to go over how to deploy your TK4 Hercules in Azure Cloud Container Instance Service. In order to uh, get started with Azure, you're going to have to create an, an Azure account. You can get a free account that's free for 12 months. You know, I'll provide the link to this uh, in the description below. All right, let's get started. So once you've uh, registered and logged into Azure, we're gonna go ahead and you might not have the same view as mine, but all you have to do is just go to the search up here and you're gonna type in container instance, instances, and you're gonna see container instances up here. Click on that. You're gonna click on create container instances. You're going to have to create a resource group for this, so I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to call it TK4-Hercules-RG, RG representing resource group. And I do that just as my naming convention. Click OK. You can give it the container name. I'm going to call it TK4-Hercules. And you're going to pick your region. I decided to go with West US. And then for image source, I'm going to click on Docker Hub or Registry or other registry. All right, I'm going to go to my Docker Hub page and grab the name of the image that I want to use. So I'm going to copy it, go back to the container instance creation page, paste it in here. This is going to be Linux. And I'm going to leave the sizing at one VP, virtual PC, CPU, sorry, and 1.5 uh, gigabyte, gigabytes of memory. I'm going to go ahead and click next. Networking type, I'm going to leave it at public. DNS name, I'm going to call it TK4-Hercules. For port, I'm only going to port forward 3270. I'm not going to port forward 8038 because there's no uh, security on that. So I don't want to expose that to the public. But 3270, although it does have a, the default installation has default usernames and passwords, uh, at least I can go back and change those right away. So let's go ahead and next. Restart policy is always. So if it fails, it, it'll restart automatically. We don't need to enter anything else. Tags, uh, since this is my personal Azure account, I'm not gonna add any tags, but you can add custom tags if you want. Let's go to the final step, which is review and create. This will run a final validation that says it passed. I'm going to click on create. And this will take about a minute. So I'll go ahead and pause this video and then resume once it's done. Okay, this is now completed. So I'm going to click on go to resource and you can see that it's now running and I'm going to grab the public IP address here, so I'm going to copy it to my clipboard. Actually, I believe I cannot paste it into this, but let's try it. Let's hit connect. I'm going to go back to, I'm going to go to my X3270 terminal emulator, click on other. I don't think I can paste in here. Nope. So I'm going to type in the ad IP address 13.83.97.240. Alternatively, I could have used the fully qualified domain name, but that's longer. Now I put Poland 3270. Click connect. It looks like it's up and running. See if it gives me the login screen. If it doesn't, I'm gonna click on reset and then clear. Okay, now it gives me the logon. Type in the default username, herc01, password, see you later. And I'm in. So, if you need a sandbox that you can, that you don't wanna run on your local machine, uh, and that way you can, you know, move between machines and be able to connect to a single instance. I think uh, using Azure or AWS, if you want, you can use either one. 
as your cloud provider where you can easily spin up an instance, a container instance, I think is a good option. Uh, just know that because this is public facing and for example right now I'm exposing my IP address and fully qualified domain name, uh, if I don't go back in here and change the default usernames, uh, I'm sorry, the default passwords to the default usernames, somebody can go in here and, you know, mess around with this container. But then again, at the end of the day, this is just a container and, you know, it's my sandbox. So if somebody does get in and makes, you know, wreaks havoc in it, that's okay. I can always delete it and recreate it and go back in there and change everything else again. Um, I hope this was useful to you. Thank you.